today we're going to be setting up the Starlink. I'll be showing you some speed tests. I'll be testing out my own router. We'll be doing a general YouTube test, just seeing what we can do at 4K. Play some games, maybe. Testing some stuff while streaming. Taking it to the middle of nowhere, showcase type thing, and yeah. That's pretty much it, so let's get on with it. Anyways, what we're here with today is the Starlink, so pretty, pretty simple. So what I'm going to be showing you first things first is how to actually set it up, because setting it up is probably the easiest thing to do, but yet everybody wants to know how to set one up, so I will show you that now. Okay, so now that you have your valve service, so you want to open it up. Usually, you'll have a set of instructions right here. It is three to four pictures, I believe. It is very simple. So what you're going to want to do then is remove this plastic, and here is all your stuff. So you have this beautiful stand for it. So it's aluminum, I believe. So put that to the side. So what you also have here is you also have your PoE brick. So one, this lets your dish communicate to your router. This brick also provides PoE to both. So your router, as well as your dish, do not need any external power. All of it comes through the brick is PoE. And PoE is power over ethernet. So basically any internet cable that you had going to your computer, that's an ethernet cable, and you could send PoE over most of them. So. We have a nice little brick here. So the nice first step is you're going to want to take your frame and take your dish. So I'm going to take this off for that. So what you're going to want to do is grab your stand, obviously. You'll see there's two pins on it. You also have a lot of cable to work with. But as you can see on the bottom of this uh, dish here, we have these two pins. Just line them up in uh, here. You don't really have to line them up, just drop it. And then if you turn it, it snaps into place. So just make sure those pins are in place. And then your basic dishy setup is done. And all you'd have to do now is run your cable wherever you need it ran. Take your black ethernet cable, which by the way, they have these really nice custom ends on them. They're pretty cool. And then take your PoE brick and plug it into the black. So black to black, and then we'll have white to white. Then you just grab your router. So. Pretty nice router, it's pretty uh, cool. It's an auxiliary port for other devices. Or maybe not a router, not sure how that works, we could test that out. And then you take your white to your white. All you have to do now is take your plug and plug it into here. And then now, now you have your white to white, black to black, as well as your power in. So pretty simple. Um, and then whatever outlet you have, you just plug this into the outlet type that you have. European, um, whatever the other ones are, I'm not sure, I don't know what you call this. Hey, just plug it into your type of wall. So yeah, now I guess we'll uh, test our own router with it. Okay, so it is plugged in, so the router and the dish should start booting up. See, so yeah, and there we go. So now it'll tilt up and it'll use its phased arrays to try and find uh, the nearest satellite. I don't know. It'll aim at an objection and use its phased arrays to pinpoint and get the best connection you can. So here we should be getting a Starlink network pretty soon. So yeah, if we look at my phone, I now have a Starlink on there. So, pretty cool. Okay, so we actually have a poor connection, but we are connected, which is pretty cool. So we should be able to actually retry this. And hey, we have Google. So yeah, we do have it pointing straight at my house. So that's going to have problems, obviously. But, you know, let's see what we can do. So yeah, 1080p, that's an ad, I think, right? No, that's just, that's not an ad. Okay. So, I mean, you can skip through and it loads fairly fine, actually. So what if we go to Linus video? Because I know he has 4K videos. So if we go, let's say here, we can, we're already in 4K. Let's, yeah. So it's actually pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. So if we just duplicate this a few times. We did lose connection, that's poor, now it's good again. So yeah, we did lose it a few times. So yeah. There we go, so when we have a decent connection, we can pull 60 to 100 uh, 
I'll show you the speed test I did yesterday when I was in the middle of nowhere. That uh, got better results, but I also had no obstructions in the way. Right now, I have a house in the way. So yeah, 32 ping, that ain't bad. That's what I commonly got anyways when playing games usually. So yeah, not too bad. So one thing I'd like to mention is these are speeds that I got probably February, late February. Um, since then, there has been a few updates out to firmware that I didn't realize actually helped in immensely, but these speeds have changed the past couple of weeks uh, as I'm editing this. So uh, there will be a two-week update video coming out pretty quick so if you guys want to see that uh stay tuned for that but yeah we'll just continue on doing uh, speed tests between my gigabit router and starlink router another speed test because i'm actually really curious about this so it does load now what happens if we press go 33 ping okay So, and I'm going to assume it's the average same speeds that I got yesterday, because maybe it found a good satellite. It is aiming more straight up, so. I will say that the uploads actually, I've, I've only gotten this upload once before on the other router, so maybe it does do an improvement. I'm not sure. I can't tell. 27 is pretty good, actually. It's not gonna lie, 26 upload, uh, 101 download. Uh, you know, we'll just test that again, just to, you know, double check. Because why not? Okay, so we are pulling almost 300 download. And 35 megabytes upload. Or megabits. Megabytes, megabits. I don't know which one it is. But that is just... I think it's megabytes. But that is just insane. Like... So, here. We're going to switch back to the other router here. Just to do some more uh, speed tests. And we're just going to see if a router actually made a difference. And let's go again. See what we can get for speeds this time. Because honestly, it might not have, it might be just a simple router, because I mean, again, everything is in uh, beta, so, who knows, so, yeah, 66 download, and the upload stays around the same, to be honest, it's around 20 to 28, I guess, is usually around the common range, so the Starlink router can definitely do upload fine. A download, though, I've seen it hit 150 before on the Starlink router, the one that they provide, so I don't know if it's a hardware thing or what. But we'll do another speed test after this, and we'll switch back to my router really quick after this, because it is still booted up. And then after that, we'll switch cables over really quick. So yeah, it seems like we're just going to be around 76 download. Oh, 80. Okay. So 80 download, or 70 download in that case there, but I got to 80 of a peak, it seemed like. Upload speeds, yeah, they're just going to stay around 20. Okay, so let's switch everything over real quick. I feel like it might have just been the satellite I was connected to, maybe? But our uploads are still way faster than what they were on the Starlink router. So, it honestly might be worth it, because what I have for TP-Link, that is a gigabit router, it's an AC1200. Uh, I don't know if I'd suggest the specific router I have, but I might actually suggest getting a gigabit router for it. Gigabit router. So yeah, the upload did uh, seem that good on the second one. So let's try again. Still AEBC internet as well, just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay, so yeah, speeds seem pretty inconsistent, but one thing's clear. 
142 upload and 146 download, it seems like it's actually working better on my own router. So, I'm not sure why that would be. Maybe because I'm providing my own external power. It could be a number of factors. One, that it's gigabit. It's meant to handle this, except for the fact that it is probably processing the data as well. I'm not sure how the Starlink works. I'm not sure how it handles like. I'm not sure what that router does specifically. I'm not sure how it's set up. So I can't say for why it could be doing that, but it seems like I am getting better performance on my own gigabit router, gigabyte router. So I don't know. Let's deploy, let's deploy to blue. You deploy real fast, not gonna lie. Uh, some graphics. Ping is 129 or 155, so. Uh, it is taking a bit to load in. It actually worked a lot better, but again, uh, I think that might be because of where I am. Yeah, see, I am having troubles here. But... I just suck at this game, that's the basics of it. So I got one kill. Uh, didn't get any more. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie, it worked a lot better in the bush, but I'm actually loading in pretty quick now. Oh wow, this seems a lot smoother. If I didn't suck at the game, that's the, that's the thing here. It doesn't actually play too badly. If you are good at the game, it's probably pretty good, not gonna lie. Because uh, I walked right past the guy, so he had a lot of chance to kill me. Uh, so, if I can sneak it around... You see, I just don't get at the game. It's as simple as that. Uh, where am I now? See, I can get hits. It does work. I did kill a person. Um, yeah. So, and that isn't internet either. The fact that they don't uh, lose their health, or I can't see their lost health after I shoot them. It just doesn't work sometimes on here. Now, I mean, I can kill fairly quick. I mean, I can get killed fairly quick. And I killed one person. I think this is literally due to skill. Yeah, this is probably all skill, not gonna lie. I don't know how he killed me, though. See, I got a kill, so it's not bad. So that'll end that test, I guess. So to sum it up, the Starlink actually works pretty well. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it actually impressed me quite a bit. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Um, ping can be something in some games, like Hunt Showdown, probably CSGO, and Roblox. That might be something, but that is gonna be worked on, hopefully. Um, and it seems like getting your own router. Okay, let me uh, continue off there. So yeah, the uh, camera actually died, so sorry about that. Why camera? Why? Anyhow, uh, it was a very fantastic experience to use this Starlink. Um, it'll help a lot with education, I think. And I was going to say it might be useful to get your own gigabit router. But honestly, at this point, unless you really want a gigabit router, because, man, they have more ports, obviously. The Starlink router actually is now getting speeds up to the speeds that my gigabit router was pulling. Um... Because, again, I'm editing this, like, a few weeks in the, from when I record this. Firmware updates have come out recently for Dishy and the router, and it has helped them immensely in their performance in that. It is insane. Uh, one of their firmware updates is literally labeled as a speed boost. So, I don't know what they're doing, but keep up the great work. But, yeah, my review on this in general is I think this will be great for education. It'll help in rural areas. It can probably replace dial-up right now, and it will be immensely better. Um, Starlink is, they have so many satellites, you could probably get uh, internet wherever you are almost now. Uh, you, you'd still have to enter the beta program, and it ain't cheap. It's 500 USD for the equipment, and it's 100 USD uh, monthly uh, for your internet plans. So it's, it's not cheap. Um, for all you city folk, um, it, it's not worth it. Just get TELUS or your major internet provider. Um, also in the city, uh, it probably wouldn't work that well unless you could put it on top of a skyscraper. In that case, it would work uh, immensely. Meh. 
Uh, until the next time, uh, if you guys have any videos you would like to see me do, um, then yeah, please leave them down in the comments. If you like what you see as well, consider giving it a like. Uh, which they do literally nothing, uh, but if you liked the video, it lets me know that you liked the video. Um, and yeah, if you really like the content, then please subscribe to see future content. And yeah, uh, hope you all have a fantastic day today. I uh, hope you learned something and hope this can help you out. Have a good day. Bye.